Today on Spotlight on the Arts, here at JCTV, coming to you from Jefferson City, Missouri, uh, we feature Professor Richard Monson of Chilhowee, Missouri, and Dr. John Hess of Warrensburg, Missouri, who will be sharing with you a project known as GG 2020, or The Great Gossamer 2020. <laughs> Welcome to JCTV Mid-Missouri Art News, uh, supported now by many uh, enthusiasts worldwide coming to you from the capital city of Jefferson City, Missouri. I'm your host, Rick Jay. And today, if you will, please join me in welcoming uh, Professor Richard Monson and Dr. John Hess to Spotlight on the Arts. I want to thank you both for making the drive to Jefferson City to share the great Gossamer exhibit with our viewers. Thank you, and thanks for having us over. Well, thank Pleasure you. to be here. Great, yes. Well, the great Gossamer exhibit basically reveals in its own way, I guess, of asking the questions, uh, where do we come from? What uh, are we? And where are we going? I guess that's Paul Gagan. Mm -hmm. uh, that uh, is known for that phrase. I ran across that a few years ago. And I thought that was interesting as we do look back and forward uh, on a spiritual type basis especially. So I would like to uh, first turn to uh, Professor Monson and uh, Dr. Hess uh, to tell us uh, all there is to learn about the uh, great Gossamer exhibit starting uh, with Professor Monson. Um, please share with us a view, uh, with the viewers, the story behind the great upcoming e exhibit, uh, the concept, for example. Well, it's a fairly long story. Uh, I had uh, my good friend, uh, he and I were camping down on the, the lake, and uh, we often talk about the, our philosophy and, and such things. And uh, I was... Uh, mouthing a couple of different concepts of how things were. And John didn't realize it, but he challenged me to, to narrow it down to, I to see. what I really and truly believe. And so I spent uh, a few years just mulling it over. And in 2016, I uh, put down what I truly believed in the way of spiritual things and, and life and death and where we came from, where we're going. Exactly. And uh, put that down in poetic form. <laughs> well, blank verse. You can I call see. it poetic if you want to. Yes. Uh -huh. And uh, then I didn't know what to do with it. And uh, John and I were in at the library one day. And uh, I had this, I think it was roughed out with me. And uh, I showed it to John. and. He didn't think it was idiotic, so I, I, I went ahead <laughs> with my thinking on that. And uh, in the course of talking about it and so forth, it dawned on me, and we both came to the same kind of conclusion, that this had a lot of interest to people. Yes. And uh, we might even put the show together and uh, have people show what they thought uh, the spiritual beginnings were and, and what spirituality is all about. And so that's kind of the, the genesis, as I recall it anyway, in, in the, the beginning of the show. And as things developed, I coined a phrase that uh, I believe in, and that is that all great things are spirit spun. Yes. Uh, there, okay. yes, I think that's the quote I was looking yeah. for, spirit and spun. Mm -hmm. the, um, the idea being that, that there's a spiritual aspect behind all of the great music, all of the great architecture, all of the great paintings, they were inspired by something spiritual, something not seen or felt exactly. or touched. And so that's where that phrase came from. 
And then John sends out uh, photographs of things that he's found in nature. He's a great photographer and a biologist. And uh, one phrase caught my, caught my eye that he had, and it, it had to do with, I believe it was, uh, uh, spider webs. And yes. he mm -hmm. had used the word gossamer. And for yes. some reason, that stuck in my mind. And <clears throat> so I kind of combined, and we talked about what to call this book. I had, I had already named the book, I believe, uh, The Great Gossamer. Yeah, I see. And yeah. The Great Gossamer is, is a kind of a contradiction. Uh, yes. Something uh, is great in that its impact is great, but it is gossamer thin. In yes. We don't see the it. Thinness we, of the way. We only feel it. And so that's where the title came from. And we mulled over and decided that was a decent title for the show as well. Yes. So that's the great Gosmer, and uh, it uh, stuck as as the name of the show. Right. Well, I I didn't know I was so interested when the first scene it was presented to me, uh, the overall uh, uh, concept of it, uh, because even before religion, and we're really really not talking religion here, and we're not really talking faith. Right. But I've always believed. And coming from a Cherokee Osage Indian background, uh, there's always that spirit that someone looks to. Yeah. And our, all, our, we, uh, our lives are a web of these different feelings that we seem to gather each day as we even, as we grow into childhood or to an adult. And then finally, at a later age, we know that they are connected somewhat, like a, a strong, thin web. There's nothing yeah. any stronger, they say, than, yeah. than a, a, a web, you know. So uh, I was drawn to the concept, and my, I was thinking, where can a person go with this? <laughs> so, well, so we're, we're all on the same page, I guess. I think it's a great uh, uh, exhibit that you're going to be, be presenting. Well, actually, now, John, could you? Yes. Answer the purpose and academic rationale, uh, or anything else you would like to add uh, that uh, yes, Professor. Yes, it's uh, rare Rich. that Rich says something where I don't want to add something to it. Uh, uh -huh. Sometimes well, a correction, you know, build on. Or sometimes, <laughs> yeah, an addition. Uh, it, uh, I'm a scientist. I'm a biologist, yes. uh, and uh, I come at this from a different perspective. Yes. Um, from my take on things, uh, the spirit that, that's creative uh, comes from inside of us. Yes. And from Rich's perspective, I think I can say this, it comes from outside. Oh, I see. So we have uh, that, that contradiction. Um, my sense of it is that uh, the, the being that we have um, responds to the, our uh, genetics and our, our uh, personal experience and all of the environmental input that we've experienced in a lifetime. Uh, it, comes, uh, it comes out in ways that uh, we define as spiritual. Uh, I've had several experiences that were very powerful to me and, and mostly they had to do with Native American yes. culture. Mm -hmm. Uh, I, uh, my wife and I one time uh, found ourselves at the medicine wheel yes. mm -hmm. in, uh, in the Big, uh, Bighorn Mountains. The Bighorn Mountains, yes. It's above Timberline and uh, it's become more popular since, but uh, when we were there, it was near the solstice time. Oh, I see. Uh, and there was a chain, chain link fence around the, around the wheel like a structure of stones. Oh, and it was just the two of us up there. And we could look around, the people had left gifts, uh, 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 dream catchers and uh, yes. uh, uh, some tobacco, uh, uh, bird feathers uh, tied to a stick. Uh, I mean, beautiful, beautiful things. Mm -hmm. uh, and we, were sat, we sat there by ourselves and in the silence and with the, with the wildflowers doing their thing as they do at the solstice. Yes. Uh -huh. And there was a, a very, very powerful sense of, um, of the sacred. Uh -huh. uh, that there's, there's something here. Yes. Uh, my perspective uh, would be that that's generated from inside of myself. What I know about Native Americans, what I know about these other things, they all come together and then they come out in this sense. Uh, Rich would, I think, see it uh, otherwise. 
and he would see it as an external uh, force of progress. External and, and it's, force coming to you yes. with a message or hoping that you understand the message, what have you. You know, as an artist, uh, I've uh, interviewed over 100 now at the table, and we've all agreed that we do paint from the heart, from the mind, but there's always a reason for that, that we're trying to uh, submit to the viewer, what have you. But all paintings, all artists are inspired again by something now mm -hmm. is that an inner inspiration but most will relate to uh something they have witnessed on the outside one gentleman well-known artist in um uh in the area uh, south of here around cape Girardeau, uh he basically first time he viewed a monet painting it was this total transformation he felt come over his body now again that that's an outside, but yet an inside, something affected that. And I'll take you one step further. We've talked about this on the show. Let's go back to the days before the uh, Native American cultures, what have you, but the caveman. Hmm. The caveman who sits inside as an artist and he said, oh, you guys go out and hunt. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna draw your uh, whatever you bring in, I'll make a record here on the wall. And I'll also make a symbol that maybe will uh, send you on out to be safe and hunt. And then all I want is a little bit of that meat, <laughs> you know. <laughs> yeah. So, so it's almost it's like a spider's web. It's all somewhat in, entangled. Yeah. Uh, so, your response either to that uh, overall to the entanglement. Well, the entanglement, or how's, how does this gentleman inside a cave? become an artist and want ah. to express whatever he's feeling, not maybe just because of the meat that's coming in, but he still has... Yes. I should think the meat was entirely secondary. Yeah. There's, uh -huh. the, there's the, the urge to create and the urge to propitiate. Uh, and in, uh, because of the trauma that humans experience when they kill something, I see. Uh -huh. uh, there has been historically uh, and I don't know how far back this goes, long way, I presume, uh, a, a, an asking of permission yes. mm -hmm. uh, to take the life right. and an honoring of the individual whose life has been taken to support me. Yes, before uh, and after. Right, and, yes. so, and they are given spirits. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, and those spirits need to be honored mm -hmm. if they're to continue to honor us with their meat. Exactly. So you have the, the caveman in the cave, and he's part of the package. Right. Uh, he's, yeah, I mean, he's not actually throwing the spears, uh, but he's enabling, and he's convincing the, uh, the prey species that uh, he should give himself up right. to serve uh, these people. Exactly. Uh -huh. And so that's how, that's, how I would, right. that's how I'd phrase that. And uh, Rich, your take on this overall? Well, uh, it is the interconnectedness of, every, of everything, plants. I and I, yeah. I've made the statement, everything has intelligence. Everything has yes. intelligence. Mm -hmm. You have a plant seed that's below ground, and it's, it's on its way to, it's, to sprout and has grow. Its, hits a rock uh -huh. and has the intelligence to move sideways yes. and go up. Uh, yeah. So on, on a certain level, everything is alive. Everything um, has intelligence, right. a certain kind of intelligence. Uh, when I finished the book, and my, I had a, a distant cousin that, that, who is an astrologist, and she asked me if I had read, read a certain book. I said, no, and I'm not interested right now. I'm finishing this thing up. And it had the, all of this business that I am spouting about spirituality and how everything is connected. And John is a spiritual man. He, he really is. And uh, so, <clears throat> but I did get uh, finished with it. and got two or three of the books that she recommended I look at, and it got me into quantum physics. Oh, I see. Uh -huh. And I think one of the things that's happening now uh, in a very broad way is that people have come to realize that there are things smaller and smaller and smaller out in what we call space yes. that fill the space. Right. And there are waves and particles uh, that, that carry through space, 
exactly. and through people, through, through everything. Uh -huh. And so I think that there's a sense that there's a whole lot more going on than we've understood in the way of energy and how energy can come and, and uh -huh. go with us and through us. And so I think uh, the, uh, the, the business of, of finding out what is really in space what energy there is in space and how it might go from one person to the other. Exactly. So we've that. somewhat talked about the history and the overall concept, what have you. Now, uh, when we come back from break, we would want to try to pin it down on how this is going to be presented uh, effectively within this exhibit that's coming up. And we'll cover that totally. But I think we're on the right track. I'm, I'm sure we've drawn a a uh, few viewers uh, already just uh, stay tuned. So I'll ask you to, to please stay uh, tuned. Um, the Great Gossamer Exhibit is definitely one a person should not miss. Uh, we must take a break, so, so we'll be back in 60 seconds and bring all this together and tell you how it's going to be presented uh, here in the next few months. Stay with us. Uh, there's so much more that you can learn right here on Spotlight on the Arts. We'll be right back. Welcome back to Spotlight on the Arts. As we turn back to Professor Richard Monson and Dr. John Hess, as we continue our discussion on the upcoming exhibit, The Great Gossamer 2020. And well, I guess uh, uh, Dr. Hess, let me uh, address you with that once again. Can you give us the basic uh, now scheduled events of the events and what we might expect uh, as a witness at this exhibit? Uh, on the specific dates and uh, uh, what we're going to bring all together as a great Gossamer exhibit in 2020. Please go. <clears throat> okay, well, uh, it's going to be in the uh, Gallery of Art and Design on the campus of Central Missouri. Huh. University of Central Yes, Missouri. the University of Central Missouri. They keep changing the name. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and it's going to begin, uh, it's, it's going to s spread over three days, uh, beginning on the 19th of May. The, the opening is. The opening, yeah, the opening is going to spread over three days. Uh, uh, and the, the first evening uh, will be at 7 o'clock um, on the, the 19th, 19th of May. That's the artist and muses? Uh, uh, we are going to have, well, of course, the, 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 uh, but the show will be hung already. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, we'll be, we're being supported uh, in part or assisted uh, by the Mid-Missouri Artists uh, of uh, Warrensburg uh -huh. and surrounding areas. Uh, and uh, they will have their own uh, show in, in conjunction, their annual show in conjunction with ours. Oh, excellent. Um, mm. We will have uh, we'll have music, uh, live music, and uh, it'll, be, uh, it'll be quite a show. Uh, it'll begin to, by uh, introducing uh, the artists, um, welcoming, welcoming uh, everyone uh, to the, to the uh, show, uh, and spending time uh, in which the, uh, the artists uh, can uh, stand next to their work. Excellent. Uh, while the people, uh, the viewers, uh, can uh, see the show, uh, and ask questions of the artists uh, that are there. Why did they do this? 
what do you think about this? I see this. Maybe yes. you don't see that. Uh, all of those kinds uh, of questions. And, and, uh, and I feel honored that you have chosen the, um, my piece that was actually featured at the uh, top 50 last year at the Missouri State Fair. That's the Indian prayer, give us strength. Mm -hmm. that, yes. Uh, folks have seen it'll be on exhibit. I sure thank you for that honor mm -hmm. and uh, a chance to oh. again share that uh, that's, inspirational piece. That's, uh, uh, that's quite an honor. Uh, I know uh, I uh, have had a, a photograph or two in, in the Missouri 50 in years past. It's been I quite see. a while since uh -huh. I've uh, uh, been doing that. Uh, the, the second night uh, will be involved with um, discussion more than anything else. It'll be in the same gallery. Uh, we'll have music, we'll have dance. Uh, there'll be uh, uh, readings. Um, we have, of course, two-dimensional works on the walls. We have sculpture, we have uh, performance art. Uh, and in the course of that, or after a kind of a, a reminder of what all is in this uh, gallery, we're going to have a, a kind of a roundtable discussion uh, with questions of people to represent as broad an array of perceptions of spirituality as we oh, can uh -huh. come by. Uh, with uh, the uh, hard-nosed scientist on one end, and I'm the closest thing we have to that so far. Uh, and uh, all around through, uh, we have well, let's help me out here. We have we're we're, we're trying to get uh, an East Indian uh, oh, uh, to speak about acacia. Oh yes, uh -huh. all-encompassing yes uh -huh. philosophy from excellent uh, that area, and we'll have a Native American uh, person uh, representing that. That would be Paul. Yeah, and yes. uh, I guess I'll have to be the. <laughs> we're we're working to to get a a a, a physical scientist, but we haven't got one yet. Uh, we're We'll have the, the whole array of the spiritual dialogue excellent. in one That'll circle. Be a, we, excellent, yeah. get to getting different views to philosophies or yeah. feelings or um, that, uh, again, heartfelt, um, should we say, uh, how, what it means to them yeah. and how they bring it together. And, and that's uh, known as the, a break in the circle that night? Uh, that, yeah. yeah. Uh, our idea is that <clears throat> when you form a concept about something very complex, you, you conclude something, or you wouldn't have a concept. And when you conclude something, then you've completed a circle. And you put that circle aside, because you've already made your mind up as to what it is, oh, and I you see. go on to the next item, or you just go about your life. So sure. this is about uh, our collective making of a circle, uh, and completing the circle. Completing the circle, yeah. basically. Yeah. Two other aspects to that. Sure. Uh, one is uh, that the circle is superior to a, a panel. Uh, in, the, in its inclusiveness. Mm -hmm. Yes, I see. Uh, so we'll have a circle of uh, discussants uh, and the, uh, an audience uh, around who can participate. Oh, but that's going to be excellent. Uh, the second aspect is that um, we want to uh, have this as a mutual information gathering from everybody and, and no, uh, uh, no arrogance. Uh, a lot of I think this and this is why I think this and uh, not very much of uh, why don't you think that. Uh, it's, it's, yes. it's, uh, it's, Keep it there's tolerance, free there's, and yes, and no, uh, mm -hmm. no conflict because if there is, then you're, it shapes the way that you share Right. and we don't want to mess with it. And that. I don't see this great gossamer like that. I see it as a sharing of experience uh, on your own basis, on your own life. Uh, so many, uh, not only in the artwork probably, is going to present this, and there's a story there, but then your speaker should be able to then reach those people, not to reach out and say, you must do it this way or that right. way. We're right. going back to almost the, the total basis of life. Right. Uh, where the spiritualism I heard. So, so it's the level that's above, as you said in the introduction, it's, it's above religion, it's above yes. these component parts. Right. Or aside from it. Mm -hmm. the, um, some, one of the things that I've, I've found in getting the work together are the backstories. Oh, what I bet. You know, why is this particular picture uh, spiritual? And uh, mm -hmm. we'll have a space below or beside every painting there where a person can include a backstory uh, with it or not. 
and if they don't, then probably the title of the work itself yes. will, will convey the spiritual yes. quality. I love the, um, the expression of the people at the, uh, I went and volunteered for a couple of days, being with the SVAA, and the people coming up viewing the painting, I was always called over, and they would give me their feelings of the what they felt in this mm. painting. Yeah. And so I can't wait to share that. Uh, it's just remarkable showing it. You hope you can reach a viewer, mm. but the, the painting, uh, just the paintings, I'm sure, are going to give uh, different ones a different uh, feeling. Yes, the, and uh, that's a great concept. All we, thought so. we thought so, uh, mm -hmm. because the, the many things you can, I mean, what's spiritual to one person is obviously exactly. not to others. And so when I put a picture on, on the wall, uh, uh, people will say, well, what's spiritual about that? Uh, and I have a page, an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper in which I can make that point. And of course, I can stand there next to the unit and answer questions directly. Sure. Now, you're a photographer also. Uh, yes, uh, yes. Dr. John. Yes, thank okay, you. So you know your own way of presenting and taking a certain photograph and, and hope you know, that it reaches people, what have you. Well, now, the third night is a recognition, a celebration. Yeah. Uh, more uh, of a wrap-up. It'll be a, a celebration of the spirits and mm -hmm. a celebration of the artists we're going to recognize a few that we think uh, really hit the no, hit the button on the spiritual side, and uh, we'll probably feature those. Uh, probably a good number, good. because we we believe all of them will yes. be spiritual. Uh -huh. And uh, then we still haven't come up with our awards, but it won't be in oh. in the nature of it. We we're not having prizes. I don't. I really personally, I've, yes, I've I judged agree. shows. And the show is supposed to have a best of show in the first, second, third. Oh, I see, yes. In many cases, there's just really no best of show. You just, you just pick there something. There isn't. You know. That's and the way so I look at it. There's a certain bogus <laughs> factor in judging art. Oh, and so we're trying to avoid that uh, as much as possible. But there are sometimes things that are so outstanding yes. that you, mm -hmm. you, can, you have to say something about it. True. And so true. That's, that's all we're doing on the... Excellent. The third, uh, just that little pat on the back. Yeah, is all yeah. You need and we tend to, we intend to be very generous with it excellent, because they excellent. all deserve something. Now and the exhibit runs through June twenty sixth. Right. That's right. Yeah, we have the three days uh, of openings beginning on the nineteenth, uh, nineteen twenty twenty one, and then on through uh, the month of June, the, the show will be in place uh, for people to come back and revisit. Uh, and, and I would like to add that on that third night. Uh, people that have had questions come to mind the first night or the second night oh. will now have access uh, to the artists again oh, uh, to, uh, to explore, well, what did you mean when you said that? Or I, I think I felt this way about it and what did you... Yes, so I, it'll be, I think, a, a tremendous uh, interactive uh, experience. I think for everyone, not only the artists, but also everyone that attends, I'm sure that you both are getting a... Uh, a great, uh, shall we say, inspiration from this project, just being able to put together and present the overall concept that we all look for in life. Yeah. And you're presenting in a fashion that anyone can come and be part of this. There's no fee, there's no charge. No, I'm, there's I'm, just, just come and see what you can gather in your own heart from this uh, overall uh, Gossamer uh, 2020. Uh, finances and donations, um, UMC Foundation, I understand. Yes. I can, uh, <clears throat> accepting yes. uh, Anything, foreign expenses. To right, your any, expenses. any uh, checks uh, should be written to the UCM Foundation uh, with a, a special note uh, for GG 2020 yes. in the memo space, and that should uh, get it to our uh, coffers. Uh, the musicians uh, and some others will, will uh, need to be honored uh, for their performance yes, and, uh, with a modest uh, honorarium. Uh, and we have some really, really fine musicians uh, who Excellent. have agreed to participate with us, and I look forward to that. Well, I've done all so, three nights. I just can't miss any night. And I, I invite the listeners to uh, join me and everyone else there. Uh, so you do have expenses on an exhibit like that, and these donations will 
definitely a, be a big help. I will say, though, that we've had very good uh, support from the administration, yes. from the Mid-Missouri <clears throat> artists, and, oh, and a few other people. And so super, we're super. doing pretty well. But we could always use a little bit more for sure. honorariums. Right, and, great. Well, it's a great exhibit to look forward to and be a part of. And uh, I'm so excited to take it all in. I hope our reviewers will join me as said a moment ago. And, and they're just stop by and say hello to all three of us. Well, uh, Professor Monson or Rich and mm -hmm. Dr. John Hess, John, we're just about out of time. So on behalf of JCTV Access, I want to thank you both for contributing so much uh, to Spotlight in the Arts, making it really a learning and informational experience that we've just began. Uh, did you have any closing comment or message? Well, I think... Uh, I was going to mention that we have a, uh, on the first and second evenings, we have an earlier uh, talk by a couple people. We have uh, Dr. Norman Sheely, yes. who is from uh, uh, Springfield. Springfield. He's coming up and he's going to do a presentation from 5.30 to 6.30 on the, on the 20th. And we have uh, Paul... Paul Rudy. Rudy, who is a, a musician. He's uh, on the faculty at the uh, University of Missouri, Kansas City, uh, as a composer. Oh, wow. <clears throat> and he has other skills as well. He's a photographer as well. And uh, he has a very interesting take on things. And, and we have, he'll be there. On, that's on, the, on the, the evening of the 19th. And uh, we'll have a, a medium, as a matter of fact, oh, who's wow. going to introduce the whole topic with regard to terminology. I see. And okay. then Paul Rudy will be following her. Uh -huh. So the show the begins early. The, the, the don't come at 7, come at uh, earlier and take it all in. 5.30, yeah. 5.30? Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you once again. Sure. Uh, sure. It's, it's our a pleasure. pleasure. Thank, it's thank you very much. Great. Well, thank you. Uh, JCTV producer, Gloria Enloe. And thank you, our viewers, worldwide now. Thanks to YouTube. Uh, for staying tuned, shall we say, to the uh, Spotlight on the Arts and Mid-Missouri Art News. Look for more Mid-Missouri Art News and uh, right, and uh, Spotlight on the Arts right here on JCTV. And once again, don't forget YouTube. I'm Rick Jay saying see you next time. <laughs>